Okay, so we're going to continue where we left off on Monday um, with planning purchases. So this is um, the fourth step that you're going to be doing on your six-month plan. So when we're planning monthly purchases, we're planning them at both retail and cost based on our plan sales. So we have our plan sales, we have our reductions, we have our end of month and beginning of month stock that we're planning, and from that we plan how much we actually want to purchase. Um, so in order to get this at retail, we do our net sales plus end of month stock plus reductions minus beginning of month. So we want to know what we have at the end of the month and subtract out what we initially had because end of month is our new stock. And that will give us plan purchase at retail. And then at cost, we do our plan purchase at retail times 100% minus our initial markup. So we know that cost is retail minus markup, and so we'll get our cost percentage, and we can figure out what the percentage of cost percentage of retail is um, to get our plan purchases at cost. Sorry, my dog just came in. Um, okay, so this is an example. If we have our planned sales, planned BOM, planned reductions, planned EOM, and then we have our planned purchase at, re at retail, so let's do February. So February would be 63,000 plus 168,000 plus zero because we don't have any reductions. And then we subtract out our BOM, which is 94,500, which gives us planned purchases at retail um, of 136,500. And then we'll do the same for all of these, except for these one, these other months have reductions, so we will add those in. Okay, so then when I am used 54%, we have to figure out what cost would be. So it would be 100 minus 54%, which gives us 46%. And then we would do 46% of planned purchase at retail. So 46% of 136,500. And 46% of 75,600, so you can just multiply that times 46%. So the first one gives you 62,790, and then you can get everything else. And then we don't have July, so it would be zero. Okay, so now we're going to add on to our Excel spreadsheet that we were doing the other day. So the sweater buyer needs to set up a monthly purchase plan. Um, based on the projected sales, BOM reductions, and EOM for this year. The initial markup goal for the fall season is 55%. So we need to come up with a purchase plan for each month at both retail and cost. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to pull up the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we already have our planned sales, we have our planned reductions, um, which is this one, reduction dollars for this year. Um, we have our planned BOM for this year, our planned EOM for this year. So we need our planned purchase at retail. And then we can just copy this for this one and do planned purchase at cost. Okay, so we can wrap these texts. Oh, sorry, it's not that one. Yeah. Okay, so planned purchase at retail, planned purchase at cost. Um, so we have sales plus EOM plus reductions minus BOM. So we can do this equals, and then we have our planned sales, plus our planned EOM, plus our planned reductions of zero, minus, oops, I have the wrong minus button. I don't know why that didn't do a minus. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. My keyboard is being weird. Okay, so we have our planned sales plus our EOM plus our reductions 
minus BOM, which gives us 48,263, but we need to make sure that we um, have two decimal places, so it's actually 48,262.50, so make sure um, when you're doing that answer that you have that full answer with two decimal places, and make sure you always have that turned on. These ones were all whole numbers, so we didn't have to worry about that, um, but always make sure to double check that. So then we can go ahead and just drag this one across. And if you have those little pound sign, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, you can double click right here or right here on the, the line. So where this line is, you can hover right here and double click that and where the C line comes up and it double clicks that and then it adjusts it for you. And so then we can't, let's see. So then for January, it's zero because we, oh, it doesn't like that. I don't know, for some reason, I got a new keyboard and for some reason it doesn't like that number pad. Okay. So this should be zero, this should be zero because we do not have a or sorry, blank. This should be zero and this should be zero. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So this is blank because we don't have EOM. And this is blank because we don't have EOM. And this is zero and this is zero because we don't have EOM. So if you don't have EOM and you don't have the beginning of the month for the next month, so February BOM, we don't have that either. So we can't do that. So we're just going to put those as zero. And so from here, we can do equals. And then we have our planned purchase at retail. And then it was, I think, 55. Yeah, 55%. So you can either do times. Um, I think it would be easier to just do times 45%. So we can do times. 0.45, which gives us $21,718.13. So you can just do that on scratch paper if you need, or in a calculator, whatever you need to do, 100 minus 55. Um, in this case, I knew that it was 45, um, and it's easier to do it with whole numbers than if something's like 47.28. Um, Anyway, so that's 45%, and so you can do that on your calculator, or do that wherever you need to. I think that's just easier um, because we are doing a percentage, or um, you could do one, oh my gosh, I hate this keypad. Okay, one minus 0.55. Yes, I forgot to put my, forgot to put my close parentheses in there, so it'll give you the same thing. And then you can just drag that over. Okay, and so that should be everything. And then this one's negative, which it shouldn't be. Let me double check this. Hmm. What did I do? Sales plus EOM Oh, this EOM's wrong. How did that happen? Oh, you know what? I forgot to paste values. Always double check that you pasted values. Okay, that should be the correct one. And then everything else should be correct. Okay, and then we're not gonna total this because we don't know. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, so that's what you're gonna do when you have to do your purchases. So we've done our plan sales, we've done our reductions, we've done our stock to sales ratio, um, our BOM or EOM plan purchases. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is markup. 
So let me go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. Oh gosh. Guys, it has been a week. I don't know about you, but hopefully you're all doing well and having good mental health and sticking through it with everything that's going on right now. I know it's tough, but the semester is almost over. Hopefully things everywhere all around will get better. And yeah, that's all I can say. We're all in it together and hopefully things will get better. Okay. So maintain market monthly. So step one, we're going to project our monthly maintained markup. So as I said last class, our maintained markup is what we're usually going to use. Um, initial markup is used um, oftentimes if you don't have um, promotions or any other kind of discounts or anything. But And then cumulative markup, you don't really use as much, but maintained markup is the markup currently and wherever you are in the season. So our maintained markup is what we're usually going to use in real life. So, or in the real world, in your future careers. So maintained monthly markup, or <laughs> maintained markup monthly. Okay, so we have our maintained markup formula, which is IMU minus reductions times 100 minus IMU. So don't forget to do reductions um, as a percentage of um, the maintained markup, or yeah, a mint of the cost. Gosh, I really can't speak today. Okay, so reduction percentage is reduction dollars over net sales dollars because reductions are a percentage of net sales, as are everything else. Pretty much everything else. Okay, step two, we're going to calculate our monthly uh, maintained markup dollars. So maintained market percentage times sales for the month gives us our dollars. And then also maintained markup dollars over sales um, equals maintained market percent. So these are all pretty similar. All the formulas are pretty similar. Just um, change it up what you do. Okay. So April sales are $84,000, and then April retail reductions are $2,100, and then I am used 54%. So we need to find our maintained markup for April in both percentage and dollar figures. So we'll do reductions out of sales, $2,100 out of $84,000 to give us 2.5%, and then fill in the rest of the formula, and we should get 44,300 or maintain market percent of 5285 then we can multiply that times our sales of 84,000 to get 44,394 okay so this is our fifth and final exercise for um fixing the plan and hold on sorry I don't know what I just okay sorry okay so this is our fifth and final exercise, so we're going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So based on the six-month plan that has been created, the sweater buyer is now trying to project monthly maintained markup percent and dollar figures for the merchandise plan for the fall season. So we're going to complete the table. Okay. So let's go back to this. So we have our planned sales, planned reductions, planned um, purchases. We have all of that. So now we're going to do our maintained markup percentage. And then I'm just going to copy this part. Maintained markup dollars. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so we're just looking at October, November, and December. So 